What's up guys, Dick Opinion here, and Animal Crossing has a free update starting this Thursday, April 23rd, and let's watch it together and then we'll go over it, but uh, this looks very exciting. Leaf Leafy's Garden Shop's coming, which is cool. I remember Leafy, looks like maybe we might can get some special roses, that'd be really cool, but mainly they're showing off these garden shrubs, which is the branches. Now we saw these in the trailers before, but the trailers show a lot of stuff that isn't in game so uh red's coming on a boat now which i think is pretty cool it's a good job for him to be slick and kind of sneaky but look at the detail of the paintings we're gonna have to look really really close about which paintings are fake and which paintings are not they also have maps and these big builds these statues which is really cool upcoming events april through june so i guess uh yeah during the the first week of april it looks like actually it looks a bit less than that nature day looks like it's going to come in a few days here so in a few days we'll have a nature day in a week which is cool we can uh get nook mouth tickets for it. i don't know about you guys but i have like fifty thousand nook mouth tickets i don't need any more <laughs> but we get new may day events which this looks really cool and also who's that cat in the background is that rover <laughs> and then uh halfway through next month we get this museum day which I'm not sure exactly what it's for or what it can give us, but that's cool. I mean, I see a hammerhead shark in there. We haven't even had sharks yet. It hasn't been that time of the season yet, so hopefully next month we'll give us some sharks. I don't care about that right there because uh, that little that little area you go to, the hippie dog, sucks. <laughs> so yeah, that was, a, that was a pretty wild trailer. Let's go over some stuff we learned. So um, I'll let it play in the back, but um, basically... I noticed they have new events with mini games and even like special island types you can go visit with special events on it which looks really really cool. Um, Red's back and he can visit on his boat and he sells art. He sells stuff from art to statues to rare maps which is really cool which they're going to add in a museum expansion for all the new art which I love. And I'm pretty sure that Red will also be able to sell fake art so we're going to have to maybe get the message boards up and all that stuff to see which art looks fake and which not. Now, now that's the type of stuff they're supposed to add in like guides and stuff. I ordered the guide, but I really doubt this painting and stuff's going to be there because it's in updates. They didn't have it for the guide. I doubt it, but I feel like it really sucks because this game came out in beta in my opinion and they're adding all this stuff as updates just, you know, to finally get what should have been out in the main game to begin with. And so me ordering the guide kind of makes no sense because the guide's going to be outdated as hell in six months when all these updates came out and it says nothing about them in the guide. <laughs> so they have the new flower types, the shrubs, looks amazing. They have Rover in the back of one of the island events for some reason. I just think this looks great. This is going to be an amazing update and we'll cover it from head to toe here in a couple days. And I'm excited, you know, after this I think they'll probably add like the cafe with Brewster and maybe those Gordion's back, those little weird things that move around you found when you digged up fossils. Maybe. All this stuff's looking really cool, so don't forget to like and subscribe because we're going to be covering all of it. Let me know what you guys think of the update in the comments. What's your favorite feature? Mine's red, and I can't wait to see it all. Talk to you guys later. Peace.